In today's video, I have the top five two-shot assault rifle gunsmith that you should be using in rank. You've probably been dominated by the DRH and the HVK, but there is more options if you're bored of seeing those weapons in rank, and I have them in today's video. If you enjoy, of course, hit the like button, subscribe down below. This is a Call of Duty Mobile sponsored video, and let's get into it. So first thing I want to do is walk you guys through the five weapons that I have in today's video. And the first one I want to talk about is the DRH. It was just banned in competitive play. And that means two weapons out of these five that I'm going to be showing you are currently banned in competitive because they're just way too strong. Now the DRH, like I said, the second best right behind the HVK. I'm going to show you why. We're going to first take a look at its fire rate as pretty decent fire rate and its ammo capacity is 25 bullets in a clip it also has good mobility because you're going to be able to run no stock with this so that's the drh and i want to compare it to obviously the best gun right now the hvk hvk has even less recoil than the drh and it has a faster fire rate as well as 28 bullets in a mag next up we have the ak-47 and i personally think this is the worst two tap headshot assault rifle here you can build it differently if you want to equip the mag that makes it shoot a lot faster kind of turns it into an smg but as you can see it has a pretty decent fire rate here definitely more recoil than the drh and the hvk and it has a lot less mobility as you can see right here but it does have 50 bullets in this magazine that i'm running and for the next weapon i want to briefly take a look at it's the em2 this is the one i'm most excited about for this season the base gunsmith comes with a built-in red dot which is extremely nice this mag that i'm using has 30 bullets in it and it has very little recoil and pretty solid range as well as better movement speed than the ak-47 so i am probably going to make a whole separate video on the em2 but that's for later we have one last gun here and that's going to be the man of war i'm second most excited for this gun this season it has less mobility i think it has around the same mobility as the ak at least this build does but i would say it has a lot less recoil and it has 38 bullets so highly recommend you guys try the Man of War and the EM2. They should be a lot of fun. We already know for a fact the HVK and the DRH are kind of busted. And I think the AK-47, there's no real reason to use it when you have these other options. Anyways, let's get into the Gunsmiths. Gunsmith, the number one, the HVK. I've shown you this a million times in my top 10 loadout videos, but it's just the default that pros use. I'm not going to really talk about it too much. I really want to move on to the new spicy ones like the AK-47. I might have made a video on this before, but I built this to actually have some mobility, at least more than a typical AK build would have. I play on Sync FOV, so it's easy to control recoil. If you don't, though, maybe try to run a barrel or an under barrel on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And here it is the EM2, probably what you guys were all waiting for. I like to run Task Force Barrel. It's gonna give you 40% bullet speed and body part damage multiplier and agency suppressor help you with that recoil and suppressor is extremely good on slower, less mobile guns like the EM2. I run the 30 round extended mag. You could run the 40, but I don't like that increase of ADS time. It's already slow as is. Next up, we got the Man of War. This is a very, very slow build. I think the best way to play the Man of War is to build it to its strengths by sitting back, holding a head glitch, and two tapping people across the map. And last but not least, we have the DRH, another banned weapon. This is pretty much what everyone rocks. All the competitive players, you're gonna see a variation of this. Maybe they'll run a different stock or a different barrel, but this is what everyone's going with for the ammunition. You have the 25 round OTM mag, you have the mono suppressor for suppression and some damage range, and ODBC Ranger for more range and for bullet spread accuracy as well as granulated of course so this is my video on the top five gunsmith for the two tap headshot assault rifles i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you all later so every time we die i will be switching to a different three shot weapon for this match Let's get into it they're about to cap b i got one one more right in front of me here you got him to I'm gonna try my best to push up with him. Another one. This has great wall penetration. Ooh, we are shredding. Give me that 3K. I got you. You don't think I'm watching my back, bro? Come on now. You know what? We might just nuke right away with the man of war. Alright. 
Here is my stealth chopper. Stealth chopper inbound. I need to get my advance. advance. There's our advance. advance and there's just a purifier out of nowhere. Rip, we're not able to get our nuke with the man of war. I'm going to switch to the DRH because I heard it's really good right now. This might be the last gun. The last three tap we switch to. We'll see. Enemy shock RC is coming. There's one. We're just going to take this to the face, man. Whatever. What are you doing back there in your spawn? All right, that is the half. We have our annihilator for the next half. We've only went through the man award on the DRH. We still have the EM2. We have the AK. We have the HVK, which is the best. I'll save that for last, just in case we start to lose. All righty, here's the UAV. Oh, that was a nice shot. We hit those. There's an advance. I want to move up top. Actually, I missed my jump because I. Ooh, close one. But we hit those headshots, boys. We hit those. Another headshot. I don't know where I'm getting shot from. All positions locked down. Positions losing alpha. These are my UAVs. We'll push up a little bit. I whiffed. I choked. All right, we're going to have to switch guns again. I think we have quite a bit of a lead, so I'm probably going to use the EM2, which is maybe, I don't know, one of the worst out of these guns. Obviously, HVK, DRH are dominant, but since we have such a big, massive lead, I feel like we can really pull out the EM2. This is a great map for a three-tap gun because everything is well bangable in this map. Another one. Okay, we got a little too aggressive. Dude was crouching in a corner. I guess he got flashed. AK and then HVK, but it's going to be too late. It's 147 to 70. The three-tap meta is obviously going to dominate. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.